and welcome to another one of my videos relating to the Attic EFW3 filter wheel where uh, today we're going to be talking about connecting the Attic 16200 CCD camera directly to the filter wheel and um, this is one of the things that Attic promote about the filter wheel and the ability to do it to have a, a completely fixed connection which is a good idea um, I like the idea of a, a secure connection the only downside of that of course is rotation of the camera and the filter wheel because this plate is normally attached to the front of the camera and you can mount the filter wheel only in one orientation with the, the plate on but it's actually a different orientation with the plate off because three of the holes you'll see only three screws are used to fix the plate to the filter wheel these being alternate holes which means that if you mount it with the plate on you use the alternate holes if you mount it with a plate off you need to use the holes that fix this to the camera so it will be upside down that's not an issue because most software can handle swapping um, the images but for me it makes a difference because I like the fact that my cable entries are on one side and I prefer the camera in that orientation but of course it means that I can't rotate my filter wheel upside down um, which is an issue for me because I use a fairly short refractor so there's, I run the risk then of uh, peer collisions so it's something to consider if you are thinking of doing the direct connection like this now to do it when you first take out the adapter that comes in the back of the filter wheel you undo the two little grub screws down the sides drop the adapter out and there's three little plugs that uh, Attic refer to as light plugs and these just push through from the outside use something small like a, a small allen key and, and just push them through they just pop out and that leaves the three holes and then you just need to decide whether you're going to use the fixing with the plate or without the plate now with the plate uh, just add seven mil to your back focus distance so if you're struggling and you take the the plate off you gain an extra seven mil it's not a huge amount but it can make quite a difference the alternative of course is to as I'm going to be doing which is to use the standard adapter screwed into the you know if this plate still fixed to the camera uh, that just screws into the front of the the plate and then into the back of the filter wheel and then done up um, with the little grub screws obviously as I said earlier the benefit for me is that I can then rotate the orientation of my camera which isn't necessarily um, 180 degree issue it may be that you're imaging a, a particular object which needs a specific camera angle uh, which this does give you a, a, a better option to do you can rotate your OTA of course but if you've got stuff mounted on it that may not be uh, quite as easy now a thing to consider when you're fixing the the filter wheel directly to the camera is the length of the screws uh, Attic refer to um, if you're fixing it with this plate attached using the the M3 8 mil long screws supplied well they're actually not supplied the ones that are supplied are the ones that hold the plate on so if you take these out to fix the filter wheel to the front of the camera the plate will fall off so if you are fixing the filter wheel to the camera with this plate intact you'll need to get yourself um, three M3 by 8 mil socket headed screws alternatively if you're going to fix like I have here without the plate the only other screws which are in the blanks in this plate are actually 4 mil long and they're too short and that's it refer to using uh, the M6 uh, the, the M3 by 6 mil screws well, there aren't any uh, so you will need to buy some 6 mil long M3 screws if you're going to fix it in this orientation Fixing this way seems to be very good. Um, I've checked on the, the sideways on up against the bright light. There doesn't seem to be any light leakage. So it seems that whilst there's no gaskets of any sort, it, uh, the machining is, is very good and it uh, holds up tight against it and uh, prevents any light leakage. I personally aren't going to be using it, but it's um, if you do struggle with back focus distance and you need that, that secure fixing or you just prefer a secure fixing, it certainly works and is uh, something worth considering. So hope for this has been helpful. Um, as you can see there, it's a reasonably good job. And I will see you soon. Bye.